Hello, hello. Last week I was in Akron looking at books. Uh, the week before that I was on the west side uh, and I bought some books. And this week I went back to those places and I got a couple of books from the intranets. So let's start with uh, these two. Love and Rockets number one, Love and Rockets number two. Uh, these are fanographics. These are both both first prints. Um, these are, especially number one. Number one is just definitely hard to come by. This is a 1982 book. Um, you tell me the last time you saw Love and Rockets number one. Although, there's a lot of Love and Rockets number one. You know, because they, cause they, they kind of change up the volume every every so often. So, you'll see a lot, but this is the first one. Um, also, there's a... A pre fant this is Fantagraphics, and there's a pre Fantagraphics Love and Rockets number one. It's a black and white cover, and it has a a cartoon looking robot on the cover, and um, th of course that's like just super rare. But these are this one is rare in its own right. So in the I was at the comic book shop in Akron, and I had seen it there last week, and I kind of balked at uh, buying it. And then it was a, it was that was on a Friday, and that whole week it just like burned my ass, and I just I was just eager to get back there and um, and pick this up, and it, from Friday to the following Thursday, it was just like making me nuts uh, throughout that weekend and the whole week, and then I get there that Friday that Thursday, I make a, I go to the shop, make a beeline for the magazines and pick uh, pick up these two books. Um, you can also tell this is a first print, and you notice there's a two ninety five um, in the price, and and I noticed that there were a couple of second prints there, and the second prints are uh, they have the three fifty cover price, so watch out for that if you're uh, looking if you're looking to pick up Love and Rockets number one, make sure it's a first print if if you care about that. And make sure it has a two ninety five price. Definitely happy to have that book. Making Spider Man number thirty nine, uh, definitely a key issue. It's I mean it's in fair condition, but to me, this is a type of book that no matter what condition it's in, if it's in if you, if you get it for the right price, you just go on ahead and pick it up. This thing is beat to shit, but it's okay. Uh, this is definitely a key issue. Uh, Steve Ditko had been drawing the book from uh, uh, Amazing Fantasy 15 up until uh, Amazing Spider-Man uh, number 38, from what I believe. And this and this issue right there is what caused him to walk off the book. Um, it was revealed that, um, spoiler alert, uh, Norman Osborn is the Green Goblin, and he wanted someone to, like a an unknown person to be... Uh, the Green Goblin, and that creative difference caused him to walk off the book. I mean, I mean, it's a classic cover. It's a you know, it, I think this is like a world famous cover, probably the most recognizable, uh, other than Amazing Fantasy number fifteen. This is a terrific book to have, any any condition for the right price. Let's jump, let's jump ahead about fifty years. Uh, Uncanny X Force number four. Uh, I have like, I already have a copy already, but eh, I figured I'd pick it up. I pick up another one. This was like eight bucks. It's in like very fine plus to you know near mint condition. There's like a couple of spine stresses, uh, but other than that, it, I mean, for the price, for what it's going for, and for what I picked it up, I mean, it, it was just undeniable. I had to get it. Maybe maybe a couple of dollars more, I would have just been like, eh, but I couldn't beat that price. Okay, let's get into some uh, movie talk right now. Uh, Captain America, it was revealed that uh, the new one of the villains, the antagonist in the uh, Captain America movie, would be Crossbones, and this and these are his first appearances. Uh, you have 359. He makes a cameo. He's cut like in a shadow in like a single panel in 359. In 360, he makes a full appearance. 
and in 362, uh, that, that there that's his first cover appearance. So, um, I mean, I picked these up for like three dollars a piece, and you can still you can still get them cheap. Uh, eBayers realize what they have now, so they're kind of jacking the price up. But man, you can go to any comic book shop and find these. They'll 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 still be there. So don't stress out. But get to your comic book shop and pick these up. You'll get them super cheap. Baby's first Deadpool book. Um, I'm a, you know, I like Deadpool. I have his uh, first appearance and whatnot, but um, I just, I don't know. I just really haven't gotten into Deadpool books. And I picked this up. This was like definitely near mint condition. I picked up for like 15 bucks. I was kind of having buyer's remorse, but I don't know. The more and more, I, I think it's growing on me now because it, it just felt like I may have paid like maybe five bucks a little bit too much for it. Uh, but I don't know. It's growing on me, and I'm kind of glad I have it now. Spider Woman, number one. Um, her first appearance is in uh, Marvel Spotlight number thirty-two. But this is the first issue. It's in really terrific condition. Yay! Green Lantern number forty-one. Uh, now this one, I had been looking for this book for a while, for at least a few weeks. And, um, like, every shop that I went to, they didn't have it. And I finally tried a store over on the west side of Cleveland. Absolutely had it. And it's in really nice shape, too. Uh, this is the first appearance of the Omega Men. Um, I mean, there's nothing there. No, they're not going to be in any movies anytime soon. But it's it, it, to me, it's a good first appearance to have. And you can get it super cheap. Like if you're paying over ten bucks, then you pay you're paying too much. We're winding things down. Uh the variant cover to Batman number five, it was like three dollars and fifty cent. And they run for about ten bucks. So I'm definitely absolutely undeniable book to get. And Green Arrow number one. Uh, this is from the New 52. Um, I love the Green Arrow, uh, the Arrow series on the CW. I thought I'd absolutely hate it, but a buddy of mine, he was telling me, no, nah, it's good, it's good, all the chicks are hot, it's like good action. Even even every single chick on the show was hot, and he was right. But um, happy to have this. There's a little bit of a, like a ding, right at the, right in the bottom corner. But, eh, it's number one. I, I mean, every... Every time I go into a shop and look in the new 52s, all, like, all the number ones are gone. All that's left are second prints, and this is a first print. And you can tell a first print from a new 52. Let's see. Let's focus a little bit. But you look at the barcode. And no light here. Sorry. But you see 0111. That's how you can tell it's a first print. Okay. Now, I actually stopped at a toy, Toys R Us, and I picked up uh, Batgirl number 13, Batman number 13, these are newsstand uh, variants, um, they're they're in demand right now, but I gotta be honest with you, man, I'm kind of, I'm so disgusted, because I, I, I took, it spent minutes trying to, you know, pick the right, because all of them, were, you know, because they're all, because they're on the newsstand, they're all kind of kind of a little banged up, a little a little bent and whatnot, and it took me a while to like find some book find the copies that look good and look nice. And I take it to the register and the chick and the homegirl at the register is just like she like I lay them carefully down on the counter and the chick just like just is just flopping them around like it's a loose titty. And I I'm just like yeah, it's just like, I don't want to yell at a girl. I don't want to yell at, especially a hot chick, because she was kind of cute. I don't want to yell at her over some comic books, but at the same time, it was just like, come on, sweetie, come on. But, uh, I don't know, I, I'm just disgusted. I'm almost tempted to just return these two books. But, uh, I had a good good week. I really didn't think I would have as many books as I would have, Um by the end of the week, I just thought I'd show off maybe Eleven Rockets and maybe a couple other bu other books, but I have a pretty decent haul for this week. So, hey, thanks for watching.